Hi there, everyone, and welcome into 2020. And my name is not Barbara Walters, but this is the year 2020. And uh, there's been so many videos and blogs and sermons about 2020. Uh, yeah, I'm going to add to it, but I wanted to spend a few days before I posted this on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's some questions that kind of need to be asked about the year 2019 and the year 2020. And when we're in the middle of celebrating the new year and looking back at the last year, it's not really a great time to be sitting there philosophically with pen and paper at hand and trying to answer all the questions of the universe. No, I thought we'd wait until January the 3rd to do that. I thought I would share with you a questionnaire that a friend gave me and gave her permission for me to share with you. She's an author, but she works in a workplace where she has to be a little bit anonymous. So I'm not going to use her name, but I thank her very much if she sees this. I plan on spending some time in answering these because I think the year 2020 is going to be a significant one. I'm not quite sure why yet, but I think it is. And yes, I realize 2020, like I said, has been used as an illustration way too much, but it is true unless we look at something with intentionality we will miss all that is within it so let's look back at 2019 ask some honest questions of ourselves and then look into 2020 with more of a renewed vision and without the dust from the previous year, distracting us from being able to see clearly now. And so I present to you this little questionnaire. I would gently suggest that you don't rush through these questions. Now, I am a Christian that is pretty evident on anything that you see on my YouTube channel. So if you're not a religious type, you're probably thinking, well, these questions won't really apply for me because she's asking me to ask a God who I don't believe in for his opinion about stuff. Tongue in cheek moment here. I dare you to ask him. But okay, ask somebody in your life right now who you trust, who knows you extremely well, and who will be extremely honest. The questions that I would ask you to ask God if you don't feel like asking him. So here's a question. Number one, what was your best memory from 2019? Why does that memory stand out to you? What was God's favorite thing that you did in 2019? How can you live 2020 to give room for the activities that would bless not only your heart, but would bless others as well? And you notice how that's phrased, how can you live your life your life should never be something that just happens to you. You should be able to walk through life, even with all its twists and turns, in a way that you have a certain amount of control over how you react and respond to what life throws at you. What were your five most valuable relations in 2019? Why was each individual relationship so important to you? Are there any of those relationships in 2020 that you are feeling you need to make changes to? Are there any relationships that you maybe want to bring into your relationship core this year? Why? What were the most productive seasons of 2019. What areas of your life did you see the most bang for your buck, so to speak? What areas of my life do I need to give priority to in 2020? Are they different than in 2019? Do those priorities line up with God's priorities or with the person who really cares about you the most? Ask them what they think your priorities should be. What do I want to invest in over 2020? What does God think? 
how will I set up my finances or time to allow that investment to take place? What are my goals for investing of my time and my finances? Are there any projects I began in 2019 that I didn't complete or that I just abandoned completely? Why did I abandon them? Why weren't they finished? Are there any of those projects that I need to carry into 2020? Are there any of those projects that I shouldn't pick up again? Or are there any of those projects that I need to set aside for a bit because maybe it's not the right time yet? How can I better direct my energy in 2020? Think of a battery bank that's got on it the digital display as to how much power each item plugged into that battery bank is taking from that bank. Now, are there areas in your life that are sucking your energy, but they're not really producing much in return? They could be the energy you're pouring into your own life or energy you're pouring into other people, but you're not seeing very good results. Is there anyone I need to forgive? If you forgive, it will allow your energy to be put into other directions. Were there situations in this past year that shook me to the core, but I haven't honestly dealt with them yet? Do I need to discuss those things with someone else who you trust and who will not uh, necessarily take your side 100%. You don't want a yes man, but you still need to process through that. What were your most life-giving and life-stealing habits this year? What brought you life that filled your love tank, that gave you energy? And what just kind of sucked everything out of you in the form of habits? Did you use certain things to avoid doing stuff that you knew would give you life but required a little bit of work and effort on your part. How can I reinforce the life-giving habits and how can I let go of the life-sucking habits in 2020? What was my area of most significant growth? And you're probably going to have to ask other people the answer to that one because so often we don't see the areas where we have seen change in. What am I thankful for from 2019? And you cannot use this as an answer. I was really glad when I watched the clock and it changed from 11.59 and switched to 2020. Sorry, you can't get by with that one. And now, what dreams, now that you've let go of a bunch of stuff, you worked stuff through, you've let go, you've talked about it, etc., etc. <sighs> what dreams are you carrying into 2020? What's on the bucket list that still needs to be fulfilled? Are there things on your bucket list you no longer need to have there because you've already done them? Are there something that right now you're not that interested in anymore? Is there something new that needs to be there? Dream big, take risks, and do not allow inertia to stop you from living 2020 with an intentional intent to be as fully engaged in the year that you possibly can be.